what's up guys it's your girl kira official and welcome back to another video if you are new here don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and for all my supporters who have been with me from day one love 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 you guys anyway guys so for today's video i'm going to talk about the first bad experience i had on valentine's day yeah guys it was not my first Valentine's Day, but yes, my first bad experience when I felt like S-H-I-T. Yeah, was not good at all. Alright guys, so <clears throat> back then I was talking to this boy. I'm not going to say guy or young man because that's the reaction that I got is a boy's behavior, right? Alright, so I was talking to this boy every girl's dream at that moment or at that time in life every girl's dream the prettiest hair nice dark smooth skin relatively perfect height and all of that good stuff guys yeah so girl lead in love anyway um so valentine's day was coming up and i was like it would be our first valentine yeah guys it would be our first valentine's day together as a couple so i was thinking of going all out but then again i'm saying why go all out why not go simple because i am a very simple person i am not extra but <laughs> if i receive extra no problem but i am not an extra person i am very simple i accept things as simple as possible because guess what I know how to appreciate the smallest set of things so that is just me so uh prior to the day of valentine's there was some vendors selling a lot of things <laughs> when these dates or special occasions are coming up you would have vendors with the perfect gift or something selling yeah so i went to this particular vendor a lot of vendors were selling roses and all of that stuff but I, as the female, would not buy a rose for a guy, although I don't see nothing wrong with that, but that's me. I wouldn't buy a rose for a guy, so I passed all the vendors who were selling roses and chocolates and all of that. And I went to a vendor who was selling, like, frames. Those frames had uh, love thoughts. Love thoughts expressing how one would feel for another person. So I was there standing reading all these love thoughts and all these different glass frames until i decided that this is the one that i want this is exactly how i feel about this boy and all of that <laughs> yeah all right so i bought it at the time those things were not expensive it was cheap 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 as i said before i'm a very simple person yeah so so at the time it was very cheap so i bought it and I was so excited i placed it in my bag check on it every time to ensure that it didn't break or you understand no scratches and all of that good stuff so you guys girl crazy in love so girl have to protect the present <laughs> so the next day no it was valentine's day so i waited until in the evening when we would meet up to give him his gift oh this is the sad part now guys so after meeting up and stuff i think one of his friends was there uh i can't really remember who the person was because nobody likes to remember bad things but we tend to remember these things more than the good stuff yeah so he had a friend here i don't remember the friend in particular and i took out his gift with a blooming smile on my face see this face yes this face right here a blooming smile with love and excitement and all of that good stuff <sighs> give gave him his present right the thought always counts for me gave him his present can you believe what he did can you guys believe what he did he took it he smashed it and told me he does not celebrate Valentine's Day oh my god can you imagine 
how I felt. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine how I felt? I felt, I felt like a wall came crashing down on me. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt. I was so emotionally destroyed at that point. Yeah. But I, I, I took it as an experience to ask first, do you celebrate Valentine's Day? So I don't end up back in that situation because it was not a nice one. <laughs> it was not. So I took myself home and I just went home. I didn't do much. I didn't I did not cry or anything like that. I just took it as an experience that I don't want to um ever feel in my life again or ever come across in my life again. I did not cry. I did not move around the place. I was normal. It's like I was in the moment it happened. I felt sad, but when I went home, it was a different me. Still not a hundred percent back to normal, but it was it was a different me, not sad throat or whatever. So, yeah, guys, that was my bad experience. And that has never happened to me ever again because I have learned <laughs> to ask, do you celebrate Valentine's before doing anything? So, thanks for that is the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Love, love, love you guys. Bye.